Mixing with Mike Plugin of the Week is a collaboration between UA and Softube. It's the Eden WT-800 bass amp. The, uh, this Eden bass amp, the WT-800, was part of their World Tour series created in 2012. And uh, it's a really amazing bass amp uh, and a great emulation to have in your plugin collection for uh, getting bass sounds for reamping. Um, essentially, uh, Eden as a company has been making uh, amazing bass amps since the mid 70s. So they've been doing this for quite a while. And, uh, and they have, uh, in addition to just bass amps, they also have amazing cabinets, and that's also part of the emulation. So let's kind of go right through it. Uh, uh, to start off with, this can be used in your Unison uh, preamp slot, so you can actually record straight through it uh, by plugging into the, the uh, direct input um, with your bass or guitar, whatever you want to plug into it, I guess. Um, uh, directly through your uh, UA uh, compatible interface. And so you can plug this in on the Unison Pre and record it directly to a track. Um, essentially what you have uh, here is a gain control. So when you actually run audio through it, you want the this uh, light here, this LED to uh, light up or flash in green uh, when it's playing. Uh, there's an enhance feature which has a unique equalization um, that uh, is created um, by Eden. More or less what it does is it boosts low end, cuts some low mids, and uh, boosts some upper mids and high frequencies. And uh, we'll kind of check that out. There's a, a shelving EQ. So basically you have a three band parametric in the middle and then you have a low shelf set to uh, centered around 100 hertz and a, a high shelf that's centered around 4K. Uh, and then you have three semi-parametric -para bands here that range from 30 hertz all the way up to 12k. So you've got quite a lot of range there in terms of working uh, just within the amp for equalization. There's also a built-in compress uh, built compressor. It's a single knob compressor, so more or less all the settings are under the hood. And uh, when you crank it in, you'll hear like a little bit more of an aggressive sound or an aggressive attack. So it's not meant to necessarily smooth out the bass sound, but to make it a bit more aggressive. You have a master control, so this is at the end of all of this stuff. And then you can also work in two modes here. You can work in a biamp mode uh, with the uh, button in, or you can leave it in a bridged um, or a, a normal mode, um, which will feed uh, to the section over here on the right. So you have an on-off switch, and to the right of that, if you either click on the E, the Eden E up top here, or the little arrow down here, you'll open up a mixer. So this feeds into two speaker systems. There's a 112 uh, uh, speaker system, uh, which is on the left here, and then on the right you have a 4x10 cabinet. Uh, so these are actually, uh, the uh, 4x10 is an actual D410 uh, XLT cabinet that's made by Eden, and the 115 is the D115 XLT cabinet made by them. So you have uh, the full setup in terms of that, and then you have some classic microphones here for selections. You have a D112, RE20, uh, made by ElectroVoice, uh, U47, of course, all-time classic by Neumann, uh, you have the Royer R21 that's available on the 410 cabinet, and then a truly unique microphone. I've never actually seen one, uh, uh, worked with one, uh, or even having heard of one until I saw this. It's uh, called a Melodian Type R. It's a tube mic uh, that was um, built uh, in France. It's made in France in the 1940s, and it has this incredible uh, low-end bump. Uh, which is really amazing. So we'll take a look at that as well. Uh, what you have is a couple of faders here uh, with some mix controls. So you can turn those on and off. Uh, you as a, have a phase inversion. Now there's a unique thing here when you have different microphones and you do phase inversion, it's not going to obviously completely cancel. And obviously there are two different cabinets. So the speaker response is going to be different. And so the phase characteristics are not necessarily going to make all of the low end disappear. You might get uh, some shift in tonal character. You like it or you don't. Don't like it and it's more or less one of those things just a simple 180 degree flip also what you have is after all of the electronics here so after all of the equalization and enhanced circuits and all of that sort of stuff you actually have uh, sort of a direct out so uh, this gives you the ability to uh, mix that in as well so you can blend that in and there's also a dedicated phase over switch on the 410 cabinet, there's also a uh, tweeter element, and you can mix in that level. So if you wanted to enhance uh, the top end, you also have the ability to kind of drop that into place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here with, um, with a basic setup here.
just as a default setting. And let's just kind of go through some of the basic amp settings, uh, and then we can hear it. So first, what I want you to hear is a little bit of the original bass sound, just to, so you have a reference point. So this is just a, a direct sound uh, of a bass. Pretty clean, uh, direct sound. Now let's uh, put the Eden amp in. So just to give you an idea what the enhance feature does, you can hear that low end kicking in. sound. Now we can really change the tone very dramatically by switching the microphone, so we'll kind of get back to that in a second. Uh, just to kind of show you some of the other features, this is the low end shelf. Or if you want to really EQ in uh, some sub, you can go in right to dig into some, you know, low end body. You know, maybe you can also see the frequencies up here. So if you're kind of looking at something, usually like a nice boost, like around 700 or so, gives you a nice detail. Uh, and you can even put a little, just put a little air on the top. like all of the you know uh how warm all of and you know uh balanced and clear all of the equalization is on that it mostly went to uh boosting you know to some particular frequencies that uh you might use for enhancement but you know there's a lot of a good amount of control on this end in terms of the sonics of the sound so i think you can kind of get a measure for that but just leaving it flat without the compression I think where you get a lot of the power of the amp is kind of working um, into the side um, here with the different settings and working with the different uh, EQs. Now, what's important to to understand about the way that this works, because all of this is, is more or less stuff that this is probably more advanced and higher quality, than a lot more control than what you get on most amplifiers, most bass amplifiers. But I think where a lot of the power comes in is in the biamp mode, right? And this gives you the ability to shift through a crossover network and, and feed off low frequencies to the 115 cabinet and higher frequencies to the 4 uh, 10-inch cabinet. Um, and then you have a crossover point right here. And so you can kind of, you know, work in that. So we'll start with it just straight up, just so you can kind of hear. And so we'll listen to a little bit of the 115 cabinet emulation and just go through some of the individual microphones just so you get a sense of what's going on there. There, that's the melodeon mic. A lot of people are going to fall in love with that. This is the U47. So, if you're looking for like a real rich 
low end, like a deep low end, warm low end on stuff like this, then you can go with the 47 or the Melodian if you're looking for a little bit um, more uh, note in there and a little bit more, you know, low mid presence rather than low sub presence, then the D112 or the RE20 might help you there a little bit better. Because it's a 115 cabinet, you're not necessarily going to get, you know, like a huge uh, um, sound in terms of presence on the top end. So let's uh, let's go over here to the 4x10 just so we can hear a little bit of what that's about. And now in this slide here, we have a Royer microphone, the 121 ribbon mic. And then obviously you have the, the ability to get more detail with the changing the volume of the tweeter element. So you can capture a little bit of that in there as well. Now, if we uh, work with the two of these blended, let me just kind of start with the uh, 115. Also mix in the uh, direct signal here. So you can hear how it, it warms up the top end quite a bit. You know, we can always uh, go over here, uh, use the enhance feature, or just bring in a little bit of, uh, you know, 4K. Control here in terms of the different tonal colorations. You hear how like smooth and and rich it really sounds. It's pretty amazing. One one other way to uh, work with this is to work in biamp mode. So if I uh, if I take this and I just go back here, we we'll just listen to us to the low end. We can set the crossover point here. full frequency signal right but before the crossover and then so that gives you like a whole other setup and I'm not even going to go through all of the options I mean we could go through all different kinds of selections in terms of uh, what uh, setups we're going to do and, and all of the different um, microphone options and the way that you can blend them all together but that offers you a whole other level of control in every bass that you put into it so not just putting you know an electric bass as we're using here in this example you can use any kind of bass so like if you have synth bass and you wanted to add like that sub bump like that melodian would be really brilliant you know pretty amazing for something along those lines uh, so if i take this out let's
hear this a, a little bit in context of the rest of the track. about this is how well it images the low end and how well it captures that i mean you don't have to use any of the mic setup you could just run through this and use the direct or do any combination or mix of any of those and then also get into other sounds uh, by using phase inversion switches and mixing some of that in if you want to get a more hollowed out sound so it's uh it's an amazing uh, thing in terms of the way it actually works with the bass sound really makes it warm and rich and especially like the depth and the low and the low mids and the way that images so solidly is really like a signature sound of uh, the Eden amps and a really powerful um, um, aspect of it that now in plug-in form makes it a really powerful reamp tool um, and uh, and a great part of, of just working. There aren't a lot of bass emulations uh, bass amp emulations um, that I've found that work really amazingly well, um, especially, you know, in something uh, like this situation. You can also use it for like a, you know, heavy rock kind of thing as well if you want to drive it a bit more. But, you know, especially in more of a jazzier type of setting like this, um, really amazing, really powerful, uh, warm and rich and gives you all the kind of character that you want and a lot of controls. Like everything just sounds very musical um, and uh, you could see just by me playing around with some of it and all the different um, uh, microphone uh, setups and balances and stuff like that with the direct signal, the equalization, the enhanced curve, um, the crossover network uh, within biamp mode uh, gives you a, a tremendous amount of flexibility. Really amazing plugin, and uh, that is why it is, uh oh, zoom out, plugin of the week, UA Softube Eden WT800. 